So today I just thought we'd take a look at this Fluke 87. It belongs to a friend of mine. And when you cut it on, it is making a low sound, I think, off the buzzer. So I just thought we'd take the cover off of this thing and look inside of it and see if we can fix it today. Back now with the three Phillips screws removed. Eighty-seven series meters always have a good seal. And he told me he did replace the battery, but we're gonna check just to make sure it hadn't died on its own, or even something wasn't faulty with a brand new battery, it happens. As we suspected, the battery is good. Let's keep going. So microamps gets a little something. Let's be gentle and take this meter a little bit further apart here. These right here are easy to break those tabs off, so we'll be very careful with that. And there is our buzzer. Unfortunately, we have to take these tabs off, and the, these tabs are extremely easy to break as well. You just want to Barely push them just to get them off the edge. I won't use nothing but my finger on those because it will definitely destroy them. Have a good look at the board here. There's a hybrid resistor network, like a voltage divider network. A lot of our input protection. I don't see anything obvious, but I am gonna get some contact cleaner. I'm gonna clean up this wafer switch and I'm gonna clean up the pins around this microcontroller. We'll do that before we take the wafer switch apart because it don't really look that bad. We'll clean it up and then put some more contact grease on it. Just gonna put some more of this Rio Lube on these contact points. I keep a little bag of Rio Lube around just, just for such an occasion. Make sure we get it on the bottom ones too.
We'll put the right fuse in there. I have cleaned up these zebra strips, the elastomeric strips there with alcohol, as well as these pads here. After cleaning with contact cleaner, and everything just looks in fantastic shape as fluke meters usually do. Just make sure those backlight pins line up and everything just snaps right in place. I need to clean just a little bit of lube off of that resistor. Don't want that to cause no issue. Moment of truth. If this don't work, we'll have to get the uh, schematics out, which <laughs> yes. There's off. I'm not lining up perfectly here. Should be volts AC. There we go. Is that volts DC? Yep, some volts DC. Millivolts. Ohms. I'm just putting my fingers on the back of the jacks here just to give some impedance up in the mag ohms, but awesome. So let's go really, really close to off. I'll clean these pads as well, by the way. I have cleaned the inside and outside of this lens. So here we go. Got our light. We can see it better here. Awesome. Just three of these screws into the threads. more stuff sprayed on it. Have it plugged into my receptacle. Hertz. Yep. Pretty spot on on Hertz. Volts DC. Power supply on. I got 13.5 volts on the power supply. 13.5. 13.53. Perfect. Ohms. I like it. Continuity. Dow check. Yep. Milliamp check. I have this LED set up where the resistor should be around 14, 15 milliamps, and there we go. 14 milliamps. Back now with my power supply set for 1.01 .01 amps. There we go, 1,018 milliamps. 1.02 amps DC. So cool. I like it. So I hope you like this video today, looking inside of this Fluke 87. It's one of the original 87s and what it took to actually get it going today. I was comparing some tests with the 87.3 that I had on my bench here. 
so it all they all compare it side by side pretty well the three does have a little bit bigger display but very very similar so i hope you found this video helpful or informational looking inside of this fluke 87 today and it was actually a another fluke that was actually a a really really easy fix so if you did find the video helpful please like share subscribe as always guys i'll have some links down in the video description of some tools and useful items that i find helpful on my bench and any of those links that you find helpful or you would like to click on are affiliate links and they help support the channel and i greatly appreciate it so thanks so much for watching and god bless